Hey y'all, welcome back to Homemade Simple. If we've not met before, I'm Lori. Today we are going to continue our new series all about replacing store-bought items for homemade equivalents that taste even better and also will save us a lot of money in the long run. It's really good to learn how to do these things so that if something is not available at the store or if somebody becomes allergic or we try to avoid particular ingredients, it will be really easy for us to make these substitutions and we will be able to do it with a lot of confidence. Speaking of confidence, this is round number two on my queso dip recipe video because last night I tried really hard. I was really excited, but it sort of turned out to be a fail. So this is my second attempt. I have a little bit of experience under my belt. Hopefully today's recipe will go smoothly, literally and figuratively, and we will have no trouble and no clumps. So here's the hoping we make the best queso dip ever. Let's get started. So first, let's talk a little bit about the mistake I made last night. My queso ended up being really grainy and sort of chunky, not creamy at all. And that problem arose because I was using too high of temperatures with too high of a fat content. So it's really important whenever you're working with high fat cheese or dairy products that you really try to heat it up slowly and don't overheat it. That way it won't separate into the different kinds of molecules and create a sort of grainy, unappetizing texture. Nothing is more disappointing than an inedible queso dip. I was so excited about my dip and it ended up being just, I could not even eat it. Other people ate it and said it was fine, but I just was too disappointed. So today I'm gonna start by focusing on the temperature, keeping it to a minimum. That way, even though I'm using a lot of dairy ingredients and dairy ingredients that are pretty high in fat content, it's gonna be okay. It's not gonna be grainy. It's gonna turn out nice and smooth. I have all the confidence in the world that today is a new day and a better queso dip is coming. I'm gonna start by adding eight ounces of cream cheese that I have chopped up into small cubes. I'm gonna turn the heat on again pretty low. And I'm gonna begin by adding one half cup of milk. Now I'm gonna have another half cup reserved in case this gets a little bit too thick. That way I can thin it out a bit. But for now, we're just gonna start with our half cup. I'm gonna try to keep this really nice and stirred. It's on about as low as I can get it. So we're gonna take our time, get this as nice and creamy as we can, and then we will add our other ingredients. Okay, I'm already feeling better about this. This is nice and creamy. This is a really good texture. I have had it on very low. It's taken probably three to four minutes for it to get to this melted point. Now I have two cups of shredded Monterey Jack cheese. I'm gonna slowly add that until it is all melted. I think one of the keys is to keep stirring. Don't stop stirring. Keep it going, keep it moving so that it doesn't get a chance to stick to the bottom, but also so that it's not overheating in any one area of the of the pan. Okay, that is really nice and creamy. Everything is melted. I'm gonna turn the heat off. Now I'm gonna add one can of these green chilies. This will give it a little bit of spice, but not a lot. This is not really hot and powerful spices. This is just a little bit of extra flavor. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon, maybe two, of cumin and a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna stir that in. You can also add 
some onions that have been sauteed. That would also be really good in here. I just didn't want to take the time to do that. It wasn't important for me to have that onion flavor, but if you love having a deep onion flavor in your queso, this that would also be perfect for this recipe. I do have to say, this is definitely looking much better than yesterday. So I feel like we have made good progress, learned a lot, and that's a really important part of experimenting in the kitchen. I will have to say yesterday, I felt really defeated, disappointed, sad. I was feeling down on myself for making mistakes that I knew I shouldn't make, but that's really just part of life. We're gonna make mistakes, we're going to do things that we know not to do, and then we get busy and forget, and things just end up happening in ways that we didn't intend for them to do, even when we're trying to follow a recipe or make something in the kitchen. So. Just remember, don't be too hard on yourself. Give it another go. There's always another opportunity to learn. And the good news is you now have a perfect, no fail, easy to follow queso recipe that will be perfect for your next dinner. Last night we had nachos, uh, sort of like a taco salad on nachos with the queso dip on top. It was good, but I'm really excited about having the leftovers with this queso dip that I just made. I did the math and it costs about 50 cents less to make this queso dip at home versus the 16 ounce that you can get in the refrigerated section at Walmart but it made probably about a third more so you're paying 50 cents less you're making more and also you are in total control of the ingredients it had five or six ingredients, all of which are very simple and easy to source versus all of the artificial ingredients that are in the store-bought queso. So I think this is another great example of how we can continue to learn and grow and begin replacing all of the store-bought items that we purchase on a regular basis with the homemade replacements that actually are so much better for you and better tasting. I'm really excited about having mass and conquered this recipe. It will definitely be used over and over again. I love queso dip and now that I know how easy it is to make, I will definitely be making it all the time. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I hope that you will go ahead and do that now. We have a lot more to come in this series of homemade replacements for store-bought ingredients. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Also, it would really help if you would like this video. And if you know someone who loves queso dip as much as I do, maybe you could send this video over to them as well. You liking, sharing, and commenting on the videos really helps the channel to grow and reach more people. Thank you so much for all of your help and support. I hope you will make this recipe and be sure to come back and let me know what you thought about it. I hope you have a wonderful week. I love you and I will see you again next time. Thank you.